All right, it's your boy Big Rich with another mob story. Good afternoon, Thursday, May 9, 2018. Just got home from work and I'm charged. Do you hear me? Charged. Lucchese family leader Matthew Madonna denied bail, but prosecutors hit another snag. Okay? Right from the pages of About the Mafia. White Plains, New York. Federal Judge Kathy Seibel. This is what she did. She denied a motion from the Lucchese crime family leader, the head of the family, Matthew Madonna, to be released on a $250,000 bond. Judge said, nah, we ain't going to do it. Why are we not going to do it? Because you're a criminal with an extensive history. And since you want to go back to work at the Big Geyser Beverage Company, the judge was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We arrested you in 2009 and 2010 while you were being employed there. And later convicted on illegal gam gambling charges. Let me tell you something. It's all good for the government to conduct lotto, mega millions, pick six, pick five, draw three, pick two, quick pick. It's okay for the government to run lotto. But, uh, you know, if some good fellas want to, you know, set up some cards and games like that, that's illegal. You know why it's, why it's illegal? Because the government doesn't get their share. The veteran New York Mafia leader supposedly oversaw the company's refrigeration system and company CEO Louis Hershkowitz had even agreed to co-sign the bond. The CEO even uh, agreed to co-sign the bond. Although the bond hearing didn't go Madonna's way, the continued problems for the fucking feds case against him and fellow Lucchese family wise guys may be an even bigger win. One of the prosecution's key witnesses, and hold on, I'm going to get a picture of this rat. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me, let me send a picture of the rat. You think rat? You disgraciad. Disgrace. One of the prosecution's key witnesses is Mafia turncoat Frank Pasqua III, who was arrested again on drug dealing and gun charges. So you got a drug dealer and a gun pusher who's rearrested. This is the government's witness. The latest arrest puts his already shaky status as a key witness in the case in serious jeopardy. Pasqua flipped four years ago after being hit with a drug charge and agreeing to cooperate with the feds. He supplied the feds with information about the murder of former Purple Gang leader Michael Meldish. Let me send his picture to the screen. Good old Mike, rest in peace. The Lucchese family for which he was an associate, his father Frank Pasqua Jr., is a soldier in the Cosa Nostra family which allowed him to get close to other members. He was able to record conversations with his father and alleged mobster Christopher Londonio, who is accused of being the getaway driver in the 2013 Meldish hit. But Pasqua has proven to be very unreliable when it comes to recalling what happened to Meldish. When he first began cooperating, he told the feds that he witnessed his father... Check, get this out. He snitched on his father. Disgracia. His father carried out the mafia hit. He said it happened while he and his dad were visiting Meldish in the Bronx. He was parked nearby. He heard a car door slam. It wasn't a car door. It was actually a gun. Seconds later, he claimed his dad walked in and said, it's done. And if anybody asks, say you did it so you can get the credit for it. Now, when you say it's done, it doesn't really mean that Frank Pasqua Jr., his father, actually copped to the crime. He just said it's done, and if anybody asks, say you did it. That doesn't mean Frank Pasqua Jr. did it. You understand what I'm saying? But he was unable to get his father or anyone else on recording implicating themselves in the crime. So maybe fathers know best about their sons. Maybe he knew his son was a piece of shit rat, and he said, you know what? You know what? I'm going to say it's done, and if anybody asks, say you did it so you can get the credit, okay? So they can't get anybody on, on record or, or on a recording saying they did it. In fact, his whole account of what happened was proven, to be, was proven to be totally wrong, and the judge in the case slammed prosecutors for it during a bail hearing last year for Stephen Crea Jr., Okay, but prosecutors said that Pasqua wasn't intentionally trying to mislead anyone. He simply misconstructed what happened that night. Prosecutors in Pasqua the third merely misinterpreted what Pasqua Jr. had meant by his re remark 
and reached a wrong conclusion about what had happened and realized he was mistaken when Londano and mob associate Terrence Caldwell were arrested for it in 2015. Okay? Now, not only are we questioning uh, Pasqua's credibility, and when I say we, I mean the judge, but also some of the decisions made by the prosecution. The feds have another fucking snitch who claims Londano confessed to the mafia hit while they were locked up. According to the prosecutors, Londonio spoke to the snitch about the Meldish murder, about the Meldish murder while they were incarcerated together, and he admitted not only his role, but Caldwell's, and said that Meldish had disrespected the boss, who then ordered Meldish killed. This snitch is a drug abusing serial bank robber whose defense and the defense whose credibility has also been questioned by both the defense and the judge. So you got a bank robber drug user and you got a drug dealer gun seller both who've got arrested for doing crime don't want to do the time so they're like yeah i'll snitch up this guy snitched on his dad that's fucking disgusting you know what i'm saying prosecutors still claim that they have ample evidence and proves madonna gave the order to have Meldish killed based on mafia protocol what does that mean a hit of that nature needs to be approved by one of the bosses. And in this case, we're talking about Matthew Madonna. They're saying that they have proof that Madonna did it just based on mafia protocol. Have to be approved by the family bosses, namely Madonna. They also claim there was simple evidence to prove that the hit was carried out by Landano and Caldwell. This would also implicate Madonna and the hit because he had a relationship with them. Okay. Madonna and 19 others, including underboss Steve Crea, was charged in 2017 with a wide range of racketing activities, including the Meldish murder. Since then, his case had seen its share of twists and turns, and it doesn't seem like the Fed's case is a strong one as they may need it to be. When it comes to Matthew Madonna and the Creas, the Feds may still be able to get a conviction on, on other racketeering-related charges, is your boy Big Rich with another mob story. You already know how we do. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, always, if you can, if you can, please donate. It's right on the banner. PayPal, Cash App, a dollar donation helps us continue what we're doing. Salute.